Dear friends, we all know that when water is heated to 100 degrees Celsius at one atmospheric pressure, it boils and the liquid phase is converted into steam phase and we talk of all uh, latent heat and this and that. But the process of heating it from uh, a temperature, normally from room temperature to higher temperature itself is very, very interesting. So when we heat water in a vessel, then uh, you must have seen very small bubbles forming in the first phase uh, at the bottom of this vessel. So today I'll show you a video and uh, the bubble formation and so there will be some question on that to think about. So here we go, we have a flame and we are putting a pot, steel pot and pouring water in it and uh, some more water. And now you look at the bubbles at the bottom of this vessel. So I am shining some light on it so that bubbles uh, may be seen. But you have to very carefully see because the bubbles are very tiny. And once the bubbles are there, I will touch those bubbles with my fingers and uh, remove the bubbles from there. And again they will form. So I am waiting for bubbles to be seen. Now, now you can see some bubbles. Yes, this tiny, tiny bubbles. Yes. So I am putting my hand in this water. It is hardly warm by now, but the bubbles were there. That is the thing to be seen. Once again, the bubbles have formed. And once again, I will just remove those bubbles and wait for the new bubbles to come up. The important thing is that I can put my finger in the water, it is not very hot, you can see the convection currents, you can see how the water mass is moving because of the convection, yes, some bubbles are seen there and I am removing the bubbles, yes, there are many bubbles now, now many bubbles, I have removed all those bubbles and again I am waiting, now the bubbles will form very quickly because the temperature has gone up light slightly. You can see the bubbles. You, you can see the bubbles at the corners this time. And once again, I will remove all those bubbles. I can still put my hands, although it's somewhat hot now, but I can still put my hand in the water. It's not very hot. Maybe some 50 degrees or so. And once again, here, here, are, the, here are some bubbles. And those bubbles I will remove by putting my hands. There are, there are many bubbles, many tiny, tiny bubbles. See, I am putting my hand very comfortably. So the temperature may not be more than 50, 55 or so. So what are these bubbles that you saw in the video at the bottom of the vessel? Is water converting into steam right at 40 degrees Celsius, 45 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Celsius? and that to interior, in the interior of the water mass? Or it, is it that uh, my fingers are not able to sense the temperature in uh, much smaller regions? In much smaller regions, the temperature could be very high, but my fingers have a bigger area in contact with the vessel and therefore I am only sensing the average temperature. Or it is that it is not steam, it is something else. It is, it is dissolved air or something else. So you can explore all these uh, aspects of this very interesting phenomena of uh, heating water in a metallic vessel over a flame.